Thanks for joining us here once again for these encouraging words together. This is our moment to just connect over a scripture verse and to reach out to the Lord in prayer. And I believe as we center our hearts on the Lord, we certainly can experience from him grace and power and strength and hope, his love and all that we need to face life with a sense of vigor and uh, triumph as we look forward to the days ahead. Thanks for joining us. It's great to be with you once again. Our scripture verse today was selected and sent over from our associate chaplain, Mary Myrink. Of course, Mary continues to help me lead Sunday services. We meet regularly during the week. We pray over residents together. We um, we discuss needs. We make sure we're doing everything we can to come alongside those that are in need. And it's our privilege. It's our honor to do so. I really count on Mary. She is an extension of the ministry of the Lord to those in our assisted living and skilled nursing areas and uh, is making quite a difference over there. So God bless you today, Mary. Thanks for sending this verse. It comes from Psalm 29. Psalm 29 is a psalm of worship. It gives glory to God. It has two opening verses that talks about ascribing to the Lord worship, ascribing him to, to the Lord uh, glory. It has two closing verses that talk about his power and what he brings to us um, out of his love, his, his peace, his strength. And uh, we're going to read one of those verses in just a moment. And in between those verses, there are 11 of them all together. In between those verses, there are, are all, these, all these scriptures about the power of God's voice. Do you remember the commercials years ago with E.F. Hutton? And uh, that was the old, the old line, when E.F. Hutton speaks, and of course everything would go quiet. Now all the heads would turn, all the hearts would jump with some expectation. When E.F. Hutton speaks, people listen. Well, Psalm 29 talks about the power of God's voice. It talks about how it's majestic, how it's powerful, how it um, thunders over the waters, how it, it's, it has might, it has... Um, has power in it. You know, the scripture tells us that the world came into being because God spoke it into being. It talks about how his word is powerful like lightning. It shakes the desert. Uh, it twists trees. It, it, uh, the, there's all this metaphorical imagery to just remind us of how strong God is and the power of his word. And then in verse 11, Psalm 29, verse 11, the verse Mary selected for us today, it says this, The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. There are so many examples of that in the scripture. You know, I can think in the book of Joshua, God speaks to Joshua. He'd been selected to follow Moses and to lead the children of Israel into their promised land. And he tells them three or four times right there in the opening chapter, be bold and be courageous for I am with you. And there's a sense in which it's a command and, and a declaration. It's time for you to be bold, Joshua. But there's also a sense in which the Lord is speaking boldness and courage into Joshua. If God's telling you be bold, he's also imparting what we need to be bold. And so the Lord gives strength to his people is the closing verse in a chapter that talks about the power of God's voice. Of course, I think the number one way that we learn to discern the voice of God is when we look at the scripture. When we look at it with an open heart, when we look at it with a prayerful heart, inviting the Lord to speak to us, what we find as we read it, the Spirit of God breathes on that scripture, causes it to come alive on the inside of us. And as we look every day to God's word, there is a strength that comes into us, that in a sense, he literally speaks into us. The Lord gives strength to his people. And then the second half, the closing line of the psalm, the Lord blesses his people with peace. You know, in John chapter 14, on Jesus's last night with the disciples before he went to the cross, he looked at them and said, my peace I give to you, not like the world gives. 
my peace. There's this sense in which God gives us a supernatural peace that comes right from his presence, that's not dependent on circumstance, that doesn't mean that everything has to line up just perfectly in order for us to have peace. No, rather, into whatever difficulties we face, we become literally carriers of the peace of God that takes up residence on the inside of us. When we open our hearts to the Lord, Jesus comes into us. His Spirit comes into us. Peace literally comes into us. Jesus spoke it to his disciples. My peace I give to you. God blesses his people. He gives strength to his people. He blesses his people with peace. As we look to the word of God, as we believe it, as we read it, as we apply it, apply it to our lives, as we put our hope in him, his word produces in us strength and a supernatural peace. Do you need that strength today? That peace is certainly available to you right now. To all of us, let's reach out to the Lord in prayer to receive the strength and the peace that he's promised to give us. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for the reality of your word. It speaks to us and gives us the strength we need. It produces in us peace when we don't know where else to find peace. Your word, your presence, your life brings us the peace we need. I pray particularly today, Lord, for those that are feeling weak or fearful or doubtful, nervous or apprehensive. Lord, we turn to you. We fix our hope on you and we believe your word your voice is powerful there's nothing that can stand in the way of your word spoken over us thank you for imparting strength to every believing heart right now and for those who are struggling with belief meet people right where they are lord draw them to yourself give them the very strength and courage they need to trust in you even right now we receive from you today the peace that you offer, the hope that's always found in you. May it fill every heart today. Thank you, Lord, for the rest and security, the strength and the peace that we find in you. Thanks for hearing our prayer. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. I think it's important to practice the peace of God. And how do you do that? I think it's we, we set aside the, the problems of the day, the, the situation around us. We just choose to rest, to meditate for a moment, to focus on the Lord. I just close my eyes by example because that's what I do. And I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I receive your peace right now. Practice that. Various moments through your day, you'll find that in his presence, we find everything we need, including strength, including peace. God bless you today. Thanks for joining us here for this encouraging word together. We're doing our best to show you these videos three times a day. They're brand new at 4.30. They repeat at 8 o'clock at night and then again 8 o'clock in the morning. We do that every day Monday through Friday. But you can watch these videos anytime you like on YouTube online. Simply type in Encouraging Words with Burt Campbell on your search bar and you'll see all our videos there right now. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord, and we will see you 